Let's move on. Player of the week, interview time. This is a real treat because you don't get a lot of the big boys that come in here. The backs seem to have the the run for these awards typically. You know, the, the fairies with the socks up and the hair done, scoring the tries, kicking the goals, looking good. So I'm excited to get this guy on the show because he's a real bruiser and he's had a great year for Rugby ATL. It's their lock, part of the towering Inferno twins, the South African twins there, himself and Mano. I'm talking about Johan Momsen. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think all of us inside of the camp probably felt better, but last year uh, results didn't show it maybe, but we just needed a few things to click. Um, I think our defense definitely showed that uh, we have what it takes to keep the best out. So uh, we just needed a few things, like I said, to click on the attack, um, to be a little bit more of a threat. And uh, when it all happened, I think I think we surprised a few, few other teams and also people out there. Yeah, no, we, we definitely, uh, we work hard at it. Um, I think Coach Lawrence has always been a, a defense-minded coach. Um, I've actually always played under defense-minded defense minded coaches, which, which I guess suits me. Um, but it's definitely hard work, but it's also very rewarding um, if you've got a big pack against you and you, you see you're just tackling them, tackling them back, and you see they, you, you're really demoralizing them. Um, it is rewarding, so it's it's enjoyable as well as hard work. Uh, it, it, it was definitely in the back of the mind. Uh, we knew if we could seal this one with a five-point win, um, we could probably get a little bit of squad rotation, give some guys that's been working hard a chance in the last week. But I mean, we still we still have a have a goal for this weekend uh, to get the five points on the road too. But uh, against Utah, we. Uh, we knew it was going to be more of a forward battle, um, which is also the way they play. They try to dominate with the forwards, try multiple penalties, kick it to the line, do malls. Um, so we knew that was probably going to be the biggest part of the matchup. Um, I think they were missing more of their backs. So for us as forwards, at least, not too much of a difference from what we thought it was going to be. Um, and yeah, it was. they didn't disappoint. They scored two mall tries. So uh, that's a little bit of a work on for us. Yeah, it really is. Um, I think that's that's part of our success. Um, if we in training, we have two teams pretty even that can really put each other under pressure. Uh, training set piece, it's good having someone that can really run other teams' stuff against you. So I mean, um, it's it's always a good it's a good problem for a coach to be struggling to make his choices uh, to pick a team, and I think that's the situation we're in week in week out and uh yeah that's that's definitely part of our success this year i think that the, some of the pace of the game has has dropped within the league over the last couple of weeks and i think when you talk about a fast game you know people often think about the people that clear out at the ruck but the speed of the ball is 90 percent determined by the ball carrier and it's the ability for the ball carrier to get a good deep post back towards his team so if if the if the post isn't deep, it means that the scrum half has to, has to go in and really dig for it. And so the reason why some of these games have slowed down is that the body height of the ball carrier has gone a little high, right? So if the if the body carrier of the ball if, if the body height of the ball carrier goes high, it means they can't control the contact. If they can't control the contact, it makes it very difficult for them to be able to get a deep post. And the work that you do on the floor as the ball carrier is really key. The deeper you get that post, the faster that ball's available, the quicker you can go. So, you know, first of all, it's about the ball carrier. The second person that's most important is the scrum half, right? And we'll see this, and it's, it's kind of like what separates, I think, some of the, like Goddard or Ellis, maybe from some of the other guys. I think actually um, Nate Osberger does this really well. He also had a great game, I thought, on, on the weekend. It's all about your footwork as you enter the ruck or you enter the ruck zone and making sure that your feet are in the right place so you can pass without moving your feet. It's only the third factor, which is the clear out, right? And the clear out is actually much more about the timing of the support. If the support's there early, they probably, and the ball carry does their job, they don't have to be that good. They can basically just fall over the ball, right? Maybe some, you know, but you can just step over the ball, you can, you can just get in front of the ball. And if the scrum half is working hard, that ball's gone before there's even any contact, right? And so if things go well and you can play on the front foot you and everyone, the ball carrier, the scrum half and the supporter do their job, you can play quickly. 
right? But if that ball carrier doesn't get the body height right, isn't able to work hard on the ground that get, get that deep post, then you can't play quickly. And that's why you'll see, you know, if you go to practice, you see a lot of the individual work about that work on the ground and that body height and contact by the ball carrier because they, they're they like 90% of how fast that ball is. All right, Houston at Seattle Thursday night. Who you got? Seattle. Seattle on the up. I think Alan, Alan Clark's doing some magic there. They're an exciting team. Um, you know, Houston's one of the teams that is, is not. So I think this is Seattle. It's also at home. They had a great crowd. You know, I think I think it'll be a it'll be a fun game, but I think it's uh it's it's Houston. School school I mean, holidays. Sorry, Seattle. Oh, Thursday Seattle. night. I, yeah. Yeah, I sorry, Seattle, I think it's gonna be like 32 22. I hope they pack it. If they can, pack it. I want Starfire back to the good old days of just jammed up and uh I love it. I love it. Sapphire is great atmosphere. All right, uh, Nola at New York. This is the big one. Well, so Nola needs to win with a bonus point. New York- By 20 points, to, yeah. Is it, is it 20 points? They need to win by 20 points and New York can't get a bonus point. So- No bonus point. I actually think Nola's defense that with the players that they have coming back, they have a really good line out. I mean, this is gonna be a great line out contest, right? You've got Cam Dolan with against Nick Savannah. It's gonna be a great matchup. Yeah. I think the, the edge in that, I think Nola have the ability to hold New York um, to not having a bonus point. I think this might be a close game. I just don't know that they have enough firepower to score. But um, I think, I mean, this is this is this is a great game. I think like I, I think Nola wins this game. I think it's a tight one, but I think they win like 22-17. Win the game, don't make the playoffs. Yeah, I'm kind of leaning the same way. Only thing that concerns me is kind of listening to you talk about what they did wrong in Seattle and Denola chase points here and play a style that doesn't suit who they are and basically play into New York's hands. Well, I mean, I think Nola have to continue to play the game that they play, which is territory, defense, and hold on to the ball. But I can think they do that with that in the back of your mind going, I, I think win they by can. 20 I think... with a bonus point and not let them Get about I, I think I think against Seattle, my view of that game was players that aren't used to being surrounded by players that maybe aren't normally starters were trying to do too much. I hope the score is 40 to 19 to Nola. So New York scores three tries, but 21 points, they're up by, and it's the end of the game, and New York's attacking the line. They need to score a try to get the bonus point. Or, or a penalty then. They could score a penalty. They oh, a penalty yes, point. that's right. Oh, how good would that be? The tension, the drama, the buzz, it's all happening. Yeah, think, this, this will be a tough so one. I, game, I'll, just, I'll just go New York. I'll go New York. Just, I think, so, New York at home strong. So I'll be flying out to Indy when that game's going on. I think I land, I'll, I'll, I'll land in time for the second half. Second half, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, uh, you, we'll talk about it. We're back. We're back, yeah. baby. We're we back. are. We're back. And uh, so we'll watch this one. Steinberg in the, uh, Uber. and his sidekick is back. Is yes, is? Pete. Handsome Pete plus one is the name of the group. And no, no, it's, it's the it's it's the power couple that do this. Definitely the power couple. It is. We'll be holding hands in the back of you, but all lift. See which one's cheaper. You have to win our love. All right, uh, Austin at DC. No bearing on this one. Only thing this can dictate potentially is maybe a position for the draft, but uh, outside of that, no real bearings. Yeah, I mean, and, and this is when you get to these games, I'm like, I, it's hard to pick because you've got to look at the rosters. You know, Austin in particular, this will be their first game. It's their only game where they were, haven't been fighting for a playoff spot. I think that it might be a game where Sam Harris rewards some players for their work throughout the season. Yeah. Maybe haven't got some some games. DC will be at home. They want to finish strong. I think DC wins this game, but I think they win it primarily because DC picks a strong squad and Austin maybe doesn't. Yeah, 100%. Couldn't have said that any better, Pete. Um, I think Sam Harris and Mark Gerard will be blooding some players this week with an eye to next year and just say, let's put these guys in the deep end, see if they can swim and get a feel for next year where DC have been out for a few weeks. So they're yeah. just going to have fun. Another great crowd there. Hopefully it's Segra. 